I think it's a very important approach because it allows us to subdivide what is a heterogeneous group of conditions and really identify patients who will benefit from one treatment as, as compared to another. We've got a range of new medications coming along the biologics. We've got some traditional medicines such as steroids and the antibiotics such as macrolides. And if we can determine the patient population who will benefit most from those, then it's an option for patients to try and that in turn may prevent them ever requiring surgery. So I feel very optimistic that it will make our treatments much more appropriate and surgery won't disappear altogether, but it will be one of an option, a range of options, and many of those options will avoid the operation. It may well predict success because we know that certain endotypes are particularly difficult to deal with. It may determine the degree of surgery that the patients are offered. Um, I would suggest that surgery is the ultimate precision medicine because you actually tailor it to the patient and it's quite clear that the amount of surgery that might be required by somebody who has minimal disease um, is going to be much much less than the patient who has very extensive nasal polyps who may require a very extensive operation the term uh, rebooting is is being used now by Professor Backus and others. Um, it's not an entirely new concept because if we go back historically, the old operations that we were doing, Caldwell Lux and such like, actually also tried to remove all the diseased mucosa in the hope that it would regenerate normally. And maybe, you know, we've come full circle to appreciate that there are patients who actually benefit from that. I think patient participation in any of their care is fundamental and uh, we've gone a long way away from the idea of um, the doctor telling the patient what they have to do. The patient has to tell us what is wrong and how it affects them and they have to be a very much a partner in the decision as to how we go forward with their treatment. I always offer patients a range of treatments and within that a range of methods of treatment and it's up to them in many ways to help me decide what they want to do and what, what would be best.